White. Eric White drives inside, lots of contact, gets it to go. Back mark for the Celtics to return. Well, a guy that protects the paint, disrupts a lot of shot attempts. He's a target in the paint area off pick and roll. Welcome sight for Celtics fans. White three-pointer, that's good! Eric White from down. White drives inside, leans in, backs it home. Derek White. Oh. These live active hands swiping at the ball defenders for Miami having success, and particularly Brown. Here's my question to you. You're, great, you're both great free throw shooters in your day. How about you, Mike? There were not many fans in the stands when I played. <laughs> my parents were there, a few other people. Your dad pointing his finger out. On a beautiful lob pass. Down tip taken by Tatum. Tatum on the run. One man to beat. It's Lowry. Gets inside. Count it. And a foul. But bounce back in game four with a 30-point, 13 rebound game. So he does know how to bounce back, Mike. Thank you, Elise. The great ones do. Tatum's jumper's good. Eyes on Butler. White. Alley-oop to Tatum. Oh, perfect pass from White. And it's... A guy that has not scored a point in this game has played... And an elite at all. The accumulation of defensive knowledge you get over. And they had 19 steals on Saturday night. Butler down low. Triple team. Oh, Depot tries. Finally, with 320 remaining here on the first, the Miami Heat get their first field goal. They were 0 for 14. And they're trying to get P.J. Tucker off of Jason Tatum by setting small on Tatum screens. And it opens him up to play without less physicality. Another good play by Tatum off the dribble. No whistle. Offensive foul. Derek White draws a charge on Dwayne Dedman. Well, they want to get Tucker off of Tatum. They were successful. And then Tatum made the right play, hit Pritchard for the wide open three. Miami, that incredible third quarter. Game two, Boston, the first half with that incredible stretch from the first quarter to the second. And then the first quarter the other night in game three, we're seeing the same thing. Guys, I mean, you've been around a long time. I don't remember seeing this dominant runs so often as we've seen in the first few games. And to me, you look at both defenses have the ability to stifle any offense. They're elite. And that's what allows you to go on runs like they have. Eric White, meanwhile, an excellent job, to say the least, filling in for Marcus Smart. I, I would say it's even more so not bringing the requisite intensity to start a game after a win. Vincent can't get it to fall. Tatum the rebound. Miami now one for 16. The Celtic defense has been just superb. Well, Miami's missed a lot of open shots as Tatum gets fouled on a three-point attempt. Duncan Robinson will get some time tonight with no Tyler Hero. Commits the personal. Well, that's a bad foul. These are the fouls that you can't afford to commit. If he makes that shot, so be it. But clearly contact. And you send a big time scorer to the line for three. Exactly. You've got to contest as hard as you possibly can without fouling or appearing to foul. The three point shooting foul is absolutely devastating. Tatum hits the first. We check in with Lisa. Hey, Mike. Well, during that last time out before Eric Spolstra addressed the team, Udinus Haslam did, and he was fired up. He told the guys, this is the way we knew that they were going to come out. They have to play this way. Their life is on the line. But he was trying to calm guys down, telling them, just settle in, get stops. He said, we're good. But just settle down. Mike? Thank you, Lisa Haslam. The oldest player in the NBA is going to be 42 in June in his 19th year. He's basically an assistant coach. One of the great stories in the NBA in terms of undrafted players who's made such a mark even though he's never been an all-star he's been a champion in a lot of different areas 
And his number will be hanging up in the Raptors in Miami. Deservedly so. And Robert Williams guarding Jimmy Butler because Butler doesn't stretch you to the three-point line. So Butler, after missing his first four shots, able to knock that one down. Vincent, good defense, comes out with it. Williams trying to take it away from him. Oladipo drives inside, barrels in to White. And they're going to call a blocking foul on White. So Oladipo will shoot two. I thought it was in the restricted area, but that's not what they called. They call it on Pritchard. Good ball pressure by Gabe Vincent. And then first to the floor. Beautiful work by Vincent to set up the two-on-one. So Pritchard picks up his first. Oladipo knocks down a free throw. Upcoming playoff schedule tomorrow. TNT in game four of the West Finals. Warriors and Mavs from Dallas. Golden State looking for the sweep. And then Wednesday, this series will return to Miami for game five. We'll have it on ESPN. Tip off at about 8.40. Well, Oladipo, who played a terrific game three Saturday, didn't do a lot of scoring, just five points, but played 20 minutes in the second half after Butler went down, and he was just tremendous defensively. Derek White, high off the glass, can't get to the fall. Duncan Robinson, quick outlet. Oladipo goes right at Pritchard, layup, missed it, but another foul. And boy, it's nice.